Oh, hello. I am on my way to go buy a new phone, a kosher phone. So if you want to know what a kosher phone is, and if you want to see me go shopping for an unusual artifact, then come with me. See this? Keith, you know what this is? Oh uh, no, is that? Oh, that's the Hesher. That's the Hesher on the phone. So not only food can have a Hesher, now technologies can have a Hesher too. If they have been approved by a body of Mashkichim, which are overseers who have deemed it fit for use. There are two options. Last time I was here, there was only one. Oh, there are several options. There's talk only, and there seems to be a $155 version and a $300 version that I don't know what makes it $300. We're going to go for number 23. I think the iPhone 12 is good enough. Okay, thank you, Keith. I think I'll go broke with the iPhone 12. Okay, <laughs> select the product. We're going to go with 23. That's arising. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, this is my new kosher phone. Let's take a look. Kosher phone, it says here on the box, talk restricted, no internet, no text, no camera. We have the instruction book. And we have the actual phone, which has a kosher symbol on the center. It says Anihoma, talk only. It comes with a SIM card, so you don't have to activate it. Charging accessories, battery, and back cover. So this kosher phone is not an ordinary flip phone. It is a modified flip phone. Some things have been changed in this phone to make it even more a phone. You know, the, the idea is let's move away from the idea that a phone can do a lot of things and move back to the idea that a phone does one thing, you talk on the phone. And this is exactly what this does. I actually have a flip phone. Those of you who follow my channel might know, but this is not a kosher phone because my flip phone has text messages. I have been following this community long enough that I remember when kosher phones started to become a thing, I was absolutely so floored that one man was selling a special modified flip phone from his home that I had a friend go and buy one for me. This was the very first kosher phone. It is tiny, look at it. I guess this was during the era of, of smaller is better. And this phone similarly is kosher. It has a kosher symbol, but it does maybe a little more. This phone has not been as professionally modified. There's still the uh, icon of the mailbox, but it says disabled. See, this is supposed to be the mailbox. It has been renamed shapes and it is rectangle box, oval circle. So if I go to circle, it says disabled. Downloads has been changed to blue, green, yellow, and orange. And we can go into rings and tones, my ringtones. Let's see what we have here. Hold on. music for a ringtone. It's gotten a lot more professional since now there's even less on the newer kosher phone. I've been really, really interested in learning about the intersection of technology and faith. It is, as I see it, a way of further seeing the intersection of modernity and traditionalism. And the Hasidic community's relationship with technology is extremely interesting. I plan to do a lot more videos on it. So if you are interested, 
and seeing me buy gadgets that I probably don't need to use in real life, please make sure to follow my channel.